there in thirteen. If we consider this sentence, this example, there were three shops in the village. So apparently, we, there seems to be the subject of the sentence. Bracketing the constituent and identifying the subject, you will find that there are two subject or two constituent, constituent which can stand as the uh, as uh, the subject of the sentence. One, as I said, there and other three shops. So, which actually is the subject? So, the word there which seems to occupy the subject place uh, is confirmed by SI uh, inversion. For example, are there three shops? So, the auxiliary has come before the subject. So, according to this S uh, A I, there stands the test of uh, the subject being subject of the sentence. However, were there three shops in the uh, village? The NP three shops, second thing is support for this can be found that the noun phrase and the verb have agreement. There are three shops and the verb is were, which is plural. So the verb agrees with shops or the subject. So uh, apparently we have uh, two subjects. One that stands the test of SAI test, subject uh, auxiliary inversion test and second the agreement test, subject verb agreement test. There was one small shop uh, in the village. So, if we look at this sentence, we find that there is a singular verb which goes with shop. Has this sentence got two subjects? Obviously, there has to be one. If we look at more carefully, we find that it corresponds to a more basic pattern. Three shops were in the village. So, this is actual, actually the sentence is. This is subject, verb and we have uh, an adjunct complement in our village or in the village. So, 51 and 54 can be related by movement operation which shift the subject NP in 54 rightwards uh, SVI to the position after B, subject, verb, inversion. Were three shops in the village. Into the vacated slot, we then inserted a dummy element. So, there is a dummy element, right? So, their insertion in 50 by give us 51 above, like it. There serves, there serves to announce that the subject, that the notional subject is to follow. Remember, whenever you have there in the sentence, make sure that the subject is yet to come and it comes after the verb. Their sentences also called existential sentences are often used to introduce new elements into the discourse as the following text illustrate. There was a university in New England where the students operated a ban, bank of term paper and other homework assignment. There were papers for every need etc. If you look at this, you will find a lot of their sentence in the paragraph. Right? Their insertion is usually only possible with identified indefinite subject and the verb used in normally be is be, is normally be, right? So, this is the process, lexical verb be, a mouse is in the kitchen. So, is is the lexical verb and a mouse is the subject. So, we can convert the sentences, there is a mouse in the kitchen. Again, the subject is move rightwards, right? And similarly, progressive B, a man is waiting for you. There is a man waiting for you. So, this is the progressive sentence. So, the, it is also possible in passive B, uh, some money has been stolen. There has been some money stolen. So, this is how we can make their insertion in the sentence. So, this makes the sentence lighter and takes the subject into the focus position.